Those look like rifles. I think there's more up here, though. Oh, there's another questionable syringe. Hello, Ripley M148, because it looks like a pulse rifle. Not so much when you pick it up, but pretty sure that's what they're going for. And we have, like, completely full ammo for this. Okay. Making sure it doesn't fire off a grenade or something when I right-click. Better to know that now than when we get into combat. Quick Ooh. Good quick save. Literally a second before I got shot. Ah, oh, shit. There's some asshole way back there with a shotgun. Huh. It seems like this has Halo 2 like beta functionality because originally in Halo 2 the battle rifle was supposed to be a three round burst when you're not scoped in and a single shot when you are but they never ended up implementing that and it was just a three round burst instead I just opened a door well what's this oh that's where we came from I'm not really digging that these enemies have big open sight lines in very dark rooms to shoot at me from. I can kind of take cover behind these. Nope, they can still hit me through the bottom part. Okay. <laughs> Safe behind this thing. So I am noticing that these are not hitscan enemies. You know, they have actual projectiles that take a second to travel. Which is nice, because so many Doom mods still have just hitscan enemies, because that's the default Doom behavior for gun enemies. What is in the center of this pit? Is it the Cyber Demon? It sounds like it's not there, it's off somewhere. I don't think I can get over there from here at all. That area seems to be inaccessible from this side. I think I have to go down through the door we opened. There's no fall damage, is there? No. I mean, we did fall down a massive shaft at the very start. Almost feels like cheating against these guys. I'm not gonna step into the boiling sewage. I think that might be a bad idea. Man, I wonder how much of this mod we have left, because, like, we still haven't gotten level 4 or 5 credentials, and we need those. Some kind of ammo over there. I don't know if it's worth going for. Actually, I can kind of skim the edges. Just more pistol ammo. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. I don't know what we just activated, but I don't like it. <laughs> Big yellow button. Doesn't do anything. Uh, this room's creepy. This looks like a good place to get ambushed by something you can't really see coming. Like a robot with a million bullets. How embarrassing. Yeah. You know, egg on my face for getting fucking killed by a robot. Where did those spiders come from, though? They started... Oh. Okay. They actually came out of this little vent here. I guess that answers my question about crawling enemies in this. In that, yes, they do exist. Maybe it said how embarrassing because it got killed by these tiny spiders. Don't hear any more skittering. So if I go down this way, we have a death robot, but I guess I'm supposed to sneak past through the ventilation. If I can... Can I actually... crawl into this? Nope. That might only be... spider-sized. Alright, um...
Does this use rifle ammo? Doesn't look like it does. See, this is where I want to throw a grenade, but I have to completely take my hands off the controls to do that. The shotgun actually pushes you back a little bit. I need this thing to get a little closer. Alright, got him. Guess that was some kind of security robot that we pissed off. Hopefully that actually did something for us and I didn't just waste a bunch of ammo for no reason. Oh, that's not great. Thankfully, they don't seem to be able to see me through the wires until I set them off. Oh boy. Threw that back in my face. Those guys don't seem the cleverest. But considering they're like 90% muscle, it makes sense. Can I get through here? They can get through here, so I better be able to get through here. Good. More armor. Nope, that was a backpack full of ammo. Less good. We really do need armor right now. I mean, I feel like I'm making progress, even though we kind of left everything behind downstairs. Ooh. Oh boy. That was a lot of spiders. That was actually kind of horrible, <laughs> just seeing them all descend like that. Thankfully, they don't seem to crawl on the ceiling and slowly drop onto you spider-style. I think that one was bugged out because it was mid-jump and it got stuck on the other one. Filthy little things. I'm paranoid. Anything could be anything in this facility. Oh. We got some uh, demon on demon violence going on down there. I think that's a window. Oh. This is going to be a pit full of spiders. No? Okay. I thought they were just going to drop a hundred more on me. Uh, I think that's the sound of siren, though. And there's an actual siren going off. Uh, bye. Oh, wait, they can climb. Oop. I fell into the pit with them, so now I am the one who is by. a snap reflex there to shoot him in the head. Where the fuck am I? I'm in a section of the map we haven't been to yet. Nope. Yep, almost just got pounded. We're like in the foundation of this area. <laughs> Where all the machinery is. Uh, I don't think I can jump that high, but that looks like it might be an elevator. I mean, you can see the texture is not aligned, so that definitely does lower, but I might have to hit a switch or something. 
I don't like the sounds down here. It is, like, genuinely unsettling to hear these various sounds. Which is a good thing. This is one of those rare times where it succeeds at being kind of a spooky mod. I mean, it's not- I wouldn't say this is a horror mod. This is another one where I'd say it's still just horror-themed, but it does the atmosphere pretty well. Kind of see why they didn't give us this rifle earlier. It's pretty good. What is hitting me? Oh my god, it's Siren. <laughs> I was not expecting it to just drop on my head. Oh man, should have saved again. But like, we're in... We're in unknown territory down here, so... That doesn't exactly make me want to save. I should make a second save is what I should do. There's some ammo down here. So yeah, I guess uh, Siren is going to drop in on me and I just got to go. I don't know. I kind of wish it did more damage over time instead of just a huge chunk of damage the second it touches you. Because it doesn't really give you time to react and run. It's like, oh, it's there, I died. So yeah, let's go save... Siren 2. The sequel. So where did that come from? I think it was over here. kind of wedged in the ground there. Um, like, I don't hear it coming or anything. Somewhere over here. I am just in a dead end down here. Oh boy. Just keep going around the circle. Hope it keeps following me. What? It said I rode my own rocket, but this thing doesn't have a rocket. I was just shooting at it to keep it away from me. I guess, uh... Don't shoot there, or you will randomly explode. Either that or the elevator just exploded on its own. Alright, I think Siren is already in play. PDA, lock it down. Yep, there it is. I mean, this area is kind of manageable, because if it can't get a straightaway on me, it can't lunge, and it doesn't seem to go fast unless it sees you. And I might have just locked it in? All I know is there's still an enemy around. Okay, let's call the elevator. save before getting on the elevator, lest it fucking blow up in my face. Yeah, I don't know why that killed me last time. I guess because I was standing in front of it? Okay, so the elevator doesn't work then. Because it went like two feet, and then it blew up. Yeah, I think this elevator's out of commission. Oh, but there's a vent here. Well, I hope there's not too much of this mod left, because I don't want this video to be forever. 
I might actually have broken this up into two parts, depending on if it's like an hour and a half. Just put a screen between them. This is one of those mods that's definitely not optimized because there is a little bit of frame dropping with all these particles going on because it's a lot for the engine to handle. Okay. So that lowers another pillar, which hopefully has another biometric data on it. Fire extinguisher. So this must have been, yeah, this is where Siren was before, when we first got here. Oh, that's a door. But I was sinking into the floor there. Uh... Did I just summon Siren into being? I seem to have generated it. Shut that bitch off. Alright. We got a boogie. What did I lower this time? I lowered that. It does not seem to have actually lowered. Might be on a time limit, though? Whoop. Nope, this is what I lowered. Biometrics level 2. I already had that. That's not helpful. Grab this. So what's out here? This is just an elevator shaft, probably to the surface. Bandage. And dead. So, uh, I might have brought that on myself. I might have built <laughs> Siren into being. Just because there's something there, doesn't mean you have to press the button on it. Alright, I took damage there, but there is a full health here, so... Oh, it's not even a full health, never mind. So we do this. I don't know if that's bugged, and it's actually a different one, because why would it give me a level 2 again? Especially when I needed to already have one to get here. Quick save. Okay, so if I press these three buttons, we can find nitrin, nitrogen, I don't know what's so it, nitrin, nitrogen, rhenium, and silicon to create the cloud. How about we just don't do that? There doesn't seem to have been any reason to do that. And if I don't do that, Siren can't come after me. This thing doesn't work right. No, that's still offline. So we lower this. Okay, it says level 2 biometrics at the top left there, but it actually said level 4 on the card when I picked it up. So, it's just, they don't have separate icons yet. Or, they have separate icons, but they don't have separate messages? That seems really weird that they would not have that. We got level 4. Where do we need level 4? I think that was up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was having the same problem as those spider things. Okay. Uh... I was hoping I could shoot those before they hatch, but it looks like we gotta... Wait till they turn into spiders. Find space, hazardous area. Well, I feel like this first level's gotta be almost over. Because all we need now is the level five.
Hammer points. There's the minigun. I suppose the reason we have ammo for this is because of the backpacks, because I don't remember picking up anything that would go in this, and it doesn't share rifle ammo. Okay, open that door. Okay, good. I thought I wasted that grenade ammo. Are those just grenades? Still don't know how many grenades I have. I gotta open this again. Save before I go in, in case it's real bad. This is like a... Maintenance tunnel. Man, this is a lot of work in one map. Also, frame rate is not happy when I look to the left here. I think that's like a revenant at the end of this tunnel, not just an imp- Alright. Not shooting at me anymore. Yeah, these things right here are just killing the frame rate when I look at them. Definitely some lava under that floor. Wasn't expecting to see just regular ass doom explosive barrels. Okay. So I shot a door switch. What did that open? I can hear it opening something. Another case of being shot at from the fucking darkness. This flashlight doesn't go far enough. So I opened something. Don't know what. Let's climb back up here. I'm guessing that... Yeah, even just as Revenant. I was gonna say that those default Doom enemy sounds are probably placeholder. Let's go up here first. Take out these guys so they're not just shooting down upon me later. Also, let's not get cooked or crushed here. No, oh, headshot works on them too. Okay, so I think I can run across this rail. This might be a secret. Uh, I don't like where this sound is coming from versus where it just drops me down into. Where the fuck is this? Okay, this is the door I was shooting under before. There's so much left. Oh my god. This is definitely not going to be one video. <laughs> Okay. Why would I open that, though? Like, what did that do for me? Did it lower... Okay. There's the level 5 card. Now we can GTFO. So, I don't know what else I missed downstairs, but... For the sake of uh, a little tiny bit of brevity, 
We're just gonna forget about it. Oh man. Our... Ya boy darkness. Coming for you once again. See, it went from, all right, it's going super slow to instantly dead. Now I'm back up here again. Just gonna shoot that. Whatever it's gonna do, it's gonna do. So yeah, we activate this, it'll lower the last one. Take out that revenant. And then worry about where Siren's coming at me from. I mean, there's a shutdown panel nearby. We just have to get to that before it traps me in here. Again, it went from, okay, gonna wait till it's slowly off to the side to instantly dead. So yeah, I do wish that this thing was not such an instant kill when it basically plot spawns on you. Because there's one thing if it wasn't scripted and you could actually like trap it in places, but it does seem to be entirely scripted in some of these parts where it shows up. I'm gonna run for the switch. All right, now where was that level five? I think it was near the cyber demon. No, that was a level two. No, it was in the... Shit, it was in the prototype lab. I don't like that sound, but that's... Inhibited siren. Uh, it doesn't sound disabled. Huh. Okay. So... It looks like shooting it doesn't do anything until it jumps at you. And then when it comes flying at you, hitting it will kind of stun it for a second. So that's kind of a gamble to go for. But I'm guessing that's because it doesn't really become solidified until it's about to attack you. Okay, well, I got the key card. That one actually did correctly say level 5 biometrics. Okay, stun it, and then make a run for it. Hope this stupid little spider doesn't jump out at me. <laughs> we need to go here, we need to go up. Oh, we need to get past this fucking sentry again. God damn. Alright, I think we're safe. Better hope there's not a lot of enemies ahead. Oh, this is clear now. Okay, so I think that might be an ele- Whoa, can't get me through the window, fucker. I bet if I click close to that window, I will die, but... Oh, there's all kinds of- Cool shit in there. I don't think I can break this window. Well, pretty sure the plasma gun would be in there, but... Um... Slight problem. Don't know if I can get past that sentry with no help. Because it pretty much has hit me every time I try to get past it. Ultra violence. No idea who that is, but I assume they are a YouTuber who does Doom mods. Really wish there was a sentry shut off button in here somewhere. I'm going to make an extra save. Just in case. I don't want to be stuck saved with 10 health. Wow. That went a lot easier that time. 
Okay, now... We just need to get back to the elevator. Before... Getting killed by Siren. So... We're gonna wanna shut it down. Again. Shit. It still says it's disabled. It's clearly not disabled. And I think it's gonna have to be... Because it's in the room we need to take the elevator. Alright. Online. Oh boy. Wouldn't it be great if it just dropped on my head from here? Nope. Kinda just expected it to fade out or something. Okay. Extra level of security, you have to scan halfway down. Cool, I'm glad your fancy elevator brought me into the goddamn sewer. I really thought we were done. Well, now we're gonna save again with, like, no health. And hope that we are near the end of this level, because holy shit, this is a long level. It's good. I'm enjoying it, obviously. I'm What is going on? Cyber demon. Ah, fuck, one of them caught me. This is a problem, it's hard to run away from them when they can slide up the walls. Okay, what's over here? Hoping for some health before we try to escape that part. Oh, this is just a whole other thing here. Medkit that you really needed. Oh, well, there's another fucking Necronomicon face. It made a ooh when I first activated it. Okay, so this just circles back on itself. And I think we do need to do. We are literally in the sewer. I thought it was just a shitty looking area, but no. It's the sewer. Even those pinkies looks like you can one-shot them with a headshot. It's good. Not enough games do that. Bad time to reload, though. Probably use a fucking shotgun in the sewer. We all slide down here. I think we've got enough ammo now that we don't need to be quite so conservative with it. Where are we going? <laughs> Just getting lost. Hmm. That was a cool trap. Let me just drown myself in an, a room full of enemies. Thank you for that. So we can go through all that elaborate nonsense, or we can go up here, try to activate that. It's actually not easy to get up here. Yep, another one of them caught up behind me and I got pincered. Well, I think we can deal with them. Get up here, see if any of these assholes follow me. Probably 
problem dealt with. Nope, not quite. There was one crouching down there in that hole. Hey, we made it in here. Which means this was not even the way to go to get out. Kevlar panels. Med kit. And the 40 watt range plasma rifle. Isn't that, uh... Isn't that what the Terminator asked for? From when he goes to the gun shop in the first Terminator? Modulating plasma rifle in the 40 watt range. Yep. Russian Terminator, that's the exact Schwarzenegger accent. I'm kind of afraid to fire this lest it blow up in my face. What? Oh, it's because I'm crouching. Yeah, so it looks like it's just a... plasma-accelerated particle gun. I think it does shoot some kind of projectile. Okay. Do I need to kill that cyber demon? Wow. It sets him on fire, too. Well, I guess we'll save now that we did that. There was a switch I just shot open. More minigun ammo. Yeah, I might need to kill the cyber gun to, or cyber demon to finish the level. Not that I can fucking see him half the time. He also doesn't seem very interested in shooting back at me. I'm not sure that that's actually something I need to worry about. I think he might just be a set piece. I can probably get up here, too. If I run fast enough. Yeah, but that might just be an enemy closet. Okay, so we can go down there. That's where I didn't go last time. Sewer level 4, that just led us... to... a dead end? Got that already, that goes back. No, right, this is where... I died because there was that stupid trap room. Ugh, they're, they're durable enough that one shot to the head doesn't even kill them with this. So I think I might actually use the other shotgun, because it fires faster. <laughs> I do like the carnage here, though. It's got a suitably visceral level of violence. These guys almost look a bit more like Doom 64 sprites than the rest of these enemies. Alright, we've got to be close to the end now. Though I wouldn't be surprised if Siren makes one more appearance before the end of the game. Or end of the level, I guess, because it's only the first level. So, if I press that button, the room fills with water. I think we need to go through this door. And, you know, the water fills up so that we can swim out. But what's over here? Oh, man. This is, this is again, a whole nother part of the sewer. Oh, Jesus. Actually, those guys are a lot less scary when they can't throw fireballs at you. Barons of Hell are not dangerous up close. Except for the fact that they will throw fireballs at you, even when they're up close. Okay. 
Uh oh. That's probably Siren right there. Or that's the Cyber Demon I'm hearing. In which case, that's actually not concerning. I just thought it was Siren, like, dropping down through the ventilation system. Can I not climb up here? Okay. The climbing's a little weird. Sometimes it, like, wants you to drop down before it'll let you climb up. Like, oh, you're too high up to climb. Ugh. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah. It mostly hasn't been a problem, but, like, when you're swimming, it's finicky. I had it for, like, one second. Alright, so we jump up here. Nope, see, I didn't even get to jump that time. Is there a ladder here? I thought maybe it was a ladder, but no, it's just... In this corner, it's just low enough. Okay. Man, this is... This is a mess, this spot right here. <laughs> but, like, I actually do need that health, so I can't just ignore it and be like, ah, whatever. Yeah, I can't jump there. I think the ceiling is too low on that spot. That I can only run, I can't jump. And there, I can't get any momentum, so I just immediately fall. Ugh. And like, I would say fuck it, but I think we're gonna need to fight the Cyber Demon. So, there we go. Definitely save after that shit. Nope, that's not the Cyber Demon, that's more of those fucking security robots. I mean, they're not too bad because they only have Gatling guns, they don't have AoE. Otherwise they'd just shoot a fucking rocket at this wall and I'd be dead. only we could switch to AP rounds for this. Make quick work of them. Hmm. I think that actually was a rocket. Dark Inquisitor, those things are called. Sadly, I can't ignore them either because this is just a straightaway for them to gun me down. It almost seems like I'm pain stun locking them even though they're robots. Okay, good. So, I have a time limit for fighting them, which is until one of them decides to fire a fucking rocket at me. You like how I bounced a grenade off of his face back at myself and then <laughs> ran into their bullets? Grenade physics in Doom. Not great. Yep, came right back at me at maximum speed. These things are like demonically possessed because they sound kind of evil. I don't think I can get down there. They just have too much of an advantage. Like, I can't, there's nothing to hide behind down here. So, yeah, let's not go that way. That seems like the bad way. Instead, let's go the other horrible way, where we have to fight a bunch of monsters in extremely close proximity. Well, this also goes that way. No. OK. 
Okay, that's another med kit. Thanks, weird sewer vent med kit. So that also leads into the room where they are. I don't know what my fucking objective is. Forgot we had two messages as well. With enough firepower, I managed to disassemble Siren for long enough for me to escape. Sadly, it ate Boris. Sad face. This is probably the same guy talking about the flesh being eaten. They installed some blast doors around the liquid nitrogen tanks down where they've been mining. I'm going to lure Siren down there, lock it in, and return a hero. Lock up your daughters. Update. It caught me and fucked me up. I think I'll make it, though. Thankfully, the demons didn't make it down here. I mean, it sounds like somebody else is doing pretty well, despite the situation. It's a shame we'll probably have to kill them as a loose end. Okay, this is where we came in. So that's the whole sewer. There's like a security gate here. Alright, well, either we have to activate the trap, or we have to go through the Dark Inquisitor room, where the fucking deadly robots are. Yep, even from this side, I thought maybe I could, like, sneak up on them from over here. But no, you're still just coming straight at them, but at least there's cover here. Unfortunately... Through all this grating, I can't even see them. It does seem like this is the intended strategy, though. Is to duck between these covered bits. I don't know why I'm trying to get closer to these things. Aside from so I can shoot at them with actual visibility. Can I even get any closer to them? I'm actually running out of rifle ammo. I got him. It's quiet. Fucking robots. So the other one I did take out over here. Med kit. Med kit. That's it. Just a fucking door that brap braps at me. Nothing in between, is there? I mean, that was a waste of ammo, if that's the case. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be any switches or anything in here to open that. Well, fuck. Also, there doesn't seem to be anything behind that door. Literally, I just killed them so that I could get the health that I lost from killing them. All right, well, that leaves the trap room as the only way forward. What is that sound? Where is that trap room? Oh, it's, uh... Can I not open this door from this side? I have to go around? I guess that was actually over here. Wait. Nope, okay. There's no reason that I can't get back over here. This door has just locked itself. Alright, guess we'll walk all the way down and then walk all the way back up the other tunnel. If I'll make one complaint about this so far, it's that it doesn't really feel... Like, I know where I'm going and why at a given time. Like, when we were going for the key cards, it was like, okay, obviously I just need to find the key cards, open up where they go, and find other key cards. 
But now, it's like, I don't know where the forward is. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish down here. We were given very vague objectives to deal with the situation. But I wish that maybe we had some character objective notes. Like, okay, it looks like I'm going to need to, you know, that sort of writing. Where the character has some idea what they're doing and therefore gives the player an idea what they should be doing. Okay, good. That was the end of the level. Oh, that actually took less time than I thought. I thought it would be like an hour and a half, but it might have been with the deaths, because I think that's just the time taken consecutively. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the demo. It's just the first level. Yeah, it's just going to reload the first map. But I think that's pretty cool. Maybe it would have been better if this was broken up into two levels. Like, once you get down the elevator, the sewer is its own level, though it's kind of shorter down there, especially if I had beeline for the exit. But yeah, I think it, it just needs a little polish, but maybe some clearer objectives, and it'll be a pretty good map. And I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of this, because, you know, there are still going to be five more maps like this. That seems like a crazy amount of work. But yeah, it's a good start. This is another... Another Doom Total Conversion demo that I can say makes me want to play more of the game when it's done. Which I think is the point of these. I'm glad that people are releasing these demos of their unfinished projects and saying like, hey, look forward to it. You know, stuff like this and Trenchfoot and all these other demos I've looked at. Obviously Ashes I'm very excited about the next part of. I hope you enjoyed that run through the first level of Siren and maybe you'll check it out when there's more. I wouldn't mind doing a playthrough of this when it's done. Until next time, though, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you with some more Doom in the future. Take care, folks.